Hey, welcome back, friends. 2023 Super Duty. Picked this one up a couple of weeks ago. Today, we're going to talk about the things that I loved about this truck, the reason I bought this truck. Also, a couple of things that are already driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, this would be a very casual conversation today. I'm not going to do a bunch of editing. I'm not going to do a bunch of fancy stuff. It's not an advertisement for Ford. Lord knows I'm getting upset with Ford, uh, as you'll see in just a little bit. But, uh, but yeah, just a casual conversation today. Hey, I hope you'll stick around. Check out today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding brand. So our family has enjoyed RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding's mattresses for over a year now. We love them, and we're confident you will as well. This particular model is called the Dream Foam Essential, which just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award for having a big variety of sizes without sacrificing comfort, making it the perfect mattress on the road. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding, you get a 120 night sleep trial and a 10 year warranty. For our family, the RV is our place to recharge for the next day. So a comfortable night's rest is important, not just for mom and dad, but for the kids too. Thank you, RV Mattress, by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. So head over to rvmattress.com slash wondering and use our code wondering to get 25% off your next mattress. Now let's hop back into today's video. All right, I'm quite sure you've seen enough of my face. I think they call this Iconic Silver. This is the first time I have had a silver truck. And I, I'm digging it, man. It's really grown on me. I, uh, it's super easy to keep clean. It, it goes well. It's in the same color family as the blacks of the tires and the grays of the trim and all of that fun stuff. So yeah, it's really growing on me. You know, we got the, I went with the upgraded wheels here. These are gray, uh, gray metallic. Uh, I really like those. It, yeah, just, it really was attractive truck from the get go. Blacked out emblems here. Went with an XLT. I'm coming from a, uh, I'm coming from two Lariats and an STX. So I had a 2013 Lariat, uh, 6.2 liter. I had a 2019 6.7 liter diesel Lariat. And then I had a 2020 7.3 liter uh, STX, which STX is basically a work truck with a paint job. So there was some things I certainly missed from my Lariat. Uh, the one thing I did not miss from my 6.7 Lariat was the diesel. And you'll notice this is a gas truck. I went back with the 7.3. And I'm, I was very happy with the 7.3. And um, I didn't want anything to change. So now this 7.3 does have the 373 rear, which that was not something I required when I was looking, when I've been looking for an upgraded truck in the last couple of years. But I can tell you, I'm glad I have it. It, it is certainly a noticeable upgrade in that department. I've towed with this thing a couple hundred miles at this point and uh, just driving it around town. Yeah, it's a lot quicker off the line, not that I'm drag racing this thing, but it's just a little bit more pleasurable to drive overall. A lot less downshifting in the mountains. I have had it in the mountains a few times now. And yeah, I can definitely say that the 373 is probably worth it. The 355, I was getting 14.5 miles per gallon. The 373 here on the 2023 I'm getting 14.0, that's average. Now you're gonna get, at least I'll get better on the highway. And the, every time I talk about MPGs, everyone thinks that's all you're getting or you're crazy if you think you're gonna get that, but that's what I'm getting. I, you know, my, my accelerator foot is different than yours, but I, I digress a little bit, but I only lost about a half a mile per gallon and I definitely think that's worth it. That was one of the things I was kind of worried about with the 373s, but, but no longer go around the exterior to show you the wheels this has got the 360 camera so you see them all over the place underneath the uh the side mirror right there got the running boards you know i had those extended running boards from ranch hand and i didn't really like them i'm glad to be back in the factory running boards they just got much more of a step much wider and i don't need the extended running boards anymore because Ford finally got with it and put function over form and put a step right there now i know chevy and gm's been doing that and I'm glad that Ford finally followed suit. Did not get a sliding rear glass. Kind of missed my sliding rear glass out of my old Lariat. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't a deal breaker, obviously. You see the camera up there. I did put this truck box back in. Now I'm speaking to you as if you've been following the channel some. Um, you know, if you've questioned some of the stuff I'm talking about, just go back and, you know, I've got over 400 videos. You can check some of that out. But I did put this particular box back in, but I had actually removed the side boxes that I was running for a while. I just didn't seem to utilize them as much as they needed to be utilized to take up the space. So I got my bed space back and again, yeah, I think that's, it's a lot cleaner look anyway. So you got some Easter eggs here. You got, uh, I think this is kind of cool. 
I can't really see the thing, but it tells you 2.5 cubic yards here for your truck bed. And then uh, you got little stuff like Super Duty integrated into the tail light there. I think that's fun. The Sport Appearance Package. Now this is painted metal. This is not plastic, so it's not very thick metal, but it is metal. Um, I love how they have the step here, finally equaling out the functionality of the Chevrolets and the GMs. Little grab handle here. I've used this combo, this step and grab handle combo a lot more already than I thought I would. And so uh, I showed you guys this on a short, but we've got new hitch, which is a huge deal, man. I mean, I can fit a regular carabiner in there and you can actually put your breakaway cable. It fits right there in this little hole as well. So this is a big deal, believe it or not. If you're using uh, a lot of those, a lot of hooks nowadays don't fit in the older style very well. You got to finagle it, as they say down here. And I was getting tired of finagling it. So yeah, you can see you got the 360 lighting back here. Here's your camera here. I got the soft open tailgate, which I got, I'm kind of 50, 50 on that, but you got your little ruler back here. I think this is kind of cool. Got your ruler here. I did get pro power on board. I got the little, the smaller version, the 2.0 KW and we'll see how much I use it. Um, I, I don't imagine myself using it a ton, but it, I think it'll be great to have it if I need it better to have it and not need it than the other way around. Of course you got lighting here in the, in the bed of the truck, which I did not have with my STX. Of course, you got chrome tips. I have no clue why they do that. It's, yeah, they just do, I guess. And there's no other chrome hardly on the vehicle, but for some reason they want to put a chrome tip on there. FX4 stuff, that's kind of a waste of time in my world. Um, I don't really need skid plates for anything, but it has it. Now, one thing that drives me nuts about this truck, and trucks, Ford trucks in general, and I think GM does it as well, I had to aftermarket these. If you don't have these fender liners, this is silver and it just looks silly compared to the other one, which is black. The other wheel wears well is black. This one's silver. So I installed these. That's in a different video. It's already up. You can check that out. Loving this step. As I said, I've been using it, especially in conjunction with the toolbox. Works out great. Works out really, really good. But yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, nothing, you know, I got some, I got the big boy lights up there. Beckett loves those. He doesn't think it's a big truck unless you got big boy lights. And it is a 250, so it's not a big, big truck. New grill. I like this new grill. New front better than the 2019s. I mean, sorry, the 2020s. I actually did like the 2019s that were square here and here. The, you know, the 2020s had that little 2020, 21s, 22s. They had that little angle right there. I wasn't real crazy about it. So I do like this front a little bit better. These are all LEDs, HIDs, whatever the, the brighter looking ones are. I did, uh, I got this aftermarket. I think it looks good on the silver and it's not uh, an air deflector. It's actually just a protector. You can see it's flush to the hood. So yeah, that's kind of the, the basics of the outside. I'm trying to think of any little, any more little Easter eggs. You got the 75th anniversary up here on the windshield, uh, but no real, no more real Easter eggs around. Let's go inside. All right, before we hop inside, the all important question, yes, I paid MSRP. You can look up what that is on uh, online, but I did not pay over MSRP and they actually added in a WEO of a spray and bed liner, which they did a great job on. And they also did a WEO of a set of weather techs. So did okay there, you know, that's better than paying over MSRP, which people have been doing for a couple years now. They also gave me a really, really good price on my used truck. So, you know, before you just throw your nose up at a new truck, do the numbers, look at the numbers, get you some numbers and see what they do. So anyway, uh, just real surprised with the, the price they gave me for my old truck. Let's go inside here in just a second. I'm gonna take you off the tripod because it kind of gets in the way. All right, let's check her in before I actually get in the truck. Let's take a look at the interior, new, new cloth interior for 2023. And I, this is an upgrade in my opinion from the the, the 2022s, it's a little, little two-tone action going on. You can see, you can see the the uh, pattern right there, and a little smoother texture here. It seems to be durable. You know, the old stuff is super durable too. Uh, this makes it was hard to rip and, and all that good stuff. But yeah, it's kind of an upgrade. Now you can see I've got a cover on the back seat with dogs and kids. So I'll link that in the description box. People always ask me about it. It's a very economical way to cover your back seat. And yeah, let's hop up inside. 
fire this bad boy up. Now one thing I missed terribly in my STX that I had in my Lariat was this right here, guys. I can't tell you, I this was the one thing I missed the most because I just leave my key in my pocket. You know, it's got the, it, it's, it's aware when you're around, you can just put your hand behind the handle and unlock it. And uh, yeah, this is, I miss this terribly. I just keep my key in my pocket all the time, but let's fire it up. And you can see all of this stuff. Now it's flickers on screen because it's, I guess it's the, the wavelength or whatever of the light, but in real life, it's not doing that, of course. And you can see uh, everything's digital, which can be good, it can also be bad. So I'm gonna close the door. And um, the reason I say that, one biggest thing, the biggest takeaway from this entire video maybe, is this screen, this whole computer, I guess you would call it, has probably one out of every six times I get in this truck, it has to reset. And it takes a good three to four minutes to do so. You know, if I'm trying to back up into a trailer or if I'm backing out, yeah, my backup camera's gone, everything, this is just a black screen or it says Ford 75 years, that's it. That's all you get. And um, yeah, it was driving me nuts, man. And so it's still driving me nuts. It's something that it will go back to the dealership for here uh, in the very near future. But yeah, take a look around, show you some of this stuff over here. I got the console. I miss this terribly. I really like that this is back. Now the, the Lariat obviously had a little cover here. This one does not. I do not have wireless charging. At least I haven't found it yet if I do. Got a USB and a C in there. Uh, got this little slot here for your uh, iPhone or your, your Android. And then you got your, you know, your good old fashioned two to four cup holders there. I, I keep it this way. And uh, this is great to have for a wallet or whatever else. I, I really missed having this. That's another big point from the, the bench seating. You know, I just, you just had the seat that sat down right here on the STX. And I really miss having this console. I'm glad it's back. And this, this thing is just cavernous. It's huge compared to that folding seat, of course. Now, Let's get at some fun stuff here. Now I can't show you all of the towing stuff because I don't have a tow vehicle hooked up, but when you go into towing and uh, you know, you can add a trailer here and I can't put the trailer name in right now because I don't actually have a trailer hooked up, but uh, it's nice to have a keyboard here versus having to do it with this over here. You know, A, B, so, you know, you, all that, it's just a nice keyboard. You just type it right in and you're done, okay? Now, all the big screen trucks have had that, and I think that's something that's they've had for the last few years, but it's been really nice. Now, trailer type, you go in here, and once something's hooked up, uh, you can go to conventional, and then when you hit continue, it'll actually, once something's hooked up, it'll actually take you through your the height of your trailer, the width of your trailer, the length of your trailer, how much your trailer weighs, all of that good stuff. And when that happens, you can go in here, let me, let me, let me see, let me select an active trailer, do that. And when you actively have a trailer on, you can see the fuel mileage. You see that little triple axle trailer right there? That's your towing range. So it, it, it takes all of that into, uh, into account and it gives you your towing range. Another thing that's really interesting, and I, I think they got a little AI going on now, this thing, this, this thing seems to know when I am hooking up a trailer, it will automatically place my, uh, you can hear that going on. I did that of course, but when I'm backing up slowly and trying to line the ball up, it automatically places my e-brake on for me. So I don't get that, you know, that shift you get when you, uh, when you let off the brake and you're not in park all the way or you don't use the e-brake, it automatically does it for me and it only does it when I'm backing up on a, tra to a trailer. So I'm just, I'm thinking they got AI going on in these things right now. They're just not telling people because AI freaks some folks out, especially truck folks. Doesn't freak me out. It's coming no matter what. So, I, but I think it's pretty cool. But you can go in here and you can get your 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 brake effort here. Right now we're on medium, and uh, that particular last trailer I had was at seven gain. So you can see all of that here. Uh, your trailer uh, trailer blind spot that's really nice it knows how long your trailer is so you know when you get a little warning over here well uh, like if I'm in a 30 foot trailer it's going to extend it back 30 feet past the truck and that's been really really cool um, pro trailer backup assist I just haven't used that and then you can also set up your trailer maintenance stuff right here so I have not done that but uh, yeah I think that's pretty cool um, manage trailers you, you know multiple trailers in there of course and then your trailer light check and all that. So that's all fun and good. Uh, over here, 
you can you can option what you see on this side of the screen. It's such a big screen, you've got room for multiple things. So you've got this, and then you can go up. Uh, you've got your zone lighting there, which is the 360 lighting. Your pro power on board, so you can pay attention to what your generator doing back there, and um, which I think is pretty cool. Here's your off-road stuff. You know, right now I'm over this way a little bit. I'm in my driveway, so I'm over a little bit. And oh, what was that? There's your my fuel economy. Uh, 13.4 right now. That's, that includes before I got this truck. I think they were goosing it a little bit. Uh, since I've had it, I've been at 14.0. There is my phone. And then back to nav. But my favorite thing here, there's your radio, is as you're going down the road, you can keep an eye on your trailer. You know, that, that stays on as you're going down the road. So it's even an observation camera. So I think that's pretty cool. Speaking of the cameras, we can go up here and we can get uh, our optional all of our cameras are available right here now this one's a big deal so if you look out here all you can see is the bottom of those handles on the garage so when you're trying to park up close to something it becomes difficult down here there are those handles and you can see all of this all the way to your bumper so you can imagine when you're in a tight parking space or even just any parking space really uh, how handy this comes in now you can also you can also go in here now this is probably been on trucks for a while but it's new to me you can also get a much wider angle there in the front so now I can see all the way over to my grass all the way over there and all the way over here you can see all of that and then you go in here one of my very favorite things is you know this has been the oh damn let me put my tailgate up all right let's go put the tailgate up right quick now they do have an option of having the a camera back here, a camera angle that still works with your tailgate down. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad it did that. So it kind of reminds me, I don't have that option. I think that's in the Lariats and maybe the King Ranches, but all right, so here we go. So this has been your normal view, um, at least for me, for the last five years, six, 10 years, I guess, since we've had a backup camera. That's been your normal view. And it's, you know, it's a slight angle and you kind of kind of have to guess with that ball you get it pretty darn close you get out and check and you're you know maybe you're on it maybe you're off an inch or so but with this one you can go in i can option this one and i'm looking straight down at the ball and you nail it every single time all right i had to sneeze excuse me so so a couple things you don't get in the xlt uh is you've got your automatic oh got a phone call damn spammers man they've been real bad lately anyway so what you don't get with the xlt is the auto AC or auto climate control, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't really miss that. Uh, I haven't missed it. I didn't really miss it in my old truck and I don't miss it in this one either. Um, we do get heated seats. I didn't have that before. I do miss AC seats a little bit uh, and the leather, but not enough to pay for a Lariat. So yeah, it hasn't been that big a deal for me. Um, let's see, what else on this big old screen up here? Can we go, oh, we got to hit this. Go back there making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, your pro power on board, that's important. So if you do get the pro power on board, here's where you turn it on. And when you turn it on, you're gonna see, or, my, or hear my RPMs go up maybe. So my RPMs went up by, I don't know, a couple hundred. And then you can monitor that here, your power draw, your power draw here, generator mode, you can test it. Uh, I haven't gotten into all the details with this right now because I haven't used it at all yet, but um, yeah, but then you'll notice when you, I'll turn it off, I'll show you the RPMs when I turn it off. Just hit the button, and now the RPMs drop a few hundred, to, hundred RPMs. So yeah, there you go, that's where you monitor all of that. Now the, the onboard in the bed, or in the, in the cab, is always on, so you can't turn that on and off. But yeah, I think that's pretty cool. We'll see how much I use it. I, I'm not, when it had it, I'm like, do I wanna pay for that? I'm like, I guess, it'd be better to have it than not have it. Your zone lighting over here, and this is a full 360 degree lighting when you're out of the truck. And I really love that, especially with the kids, it keeps them from. All right, my GoPro overheated. So between sneezing and overheating, my GoPro, uh, I better end this video, something's gonna blow up. But yeah, let me let me show you zone lighting here. It's kind of cool little feature. And I think these have been on trucks for a little while, but new to me. And this just shows you uh, everything that lights up around the truck when you step out. So it's a pretty cool feature here. And um, yeah, I, I'm glad to have it. Uh, it's great for the kids when they are in uh, oh, when we're out and about and it's dark let's <laughs> see who knows what's going on right now let's see what this is there we go this thing scares me a little bit I'll just be honest with you it is going back to the dealer because uh, like I said it's it's I've had to 
resets about every six time I get in the truck, which in reality is every couple of days. And so, um, yeah, it's going back to the, for that, really driving me nuts, pushing me towards Ram or GMC. I, I'm, you know, I've been burned by GM, so yeah, it take a lot for that. But uh, yeah, I'm starting to, I'm starting to ramble a little bit. But that's the one biggest issue I'm having with this is this big, pretty screen. It's, it's, it's impressive. It's pretty. It's got a lot of features but it's not working perfectly and that drives me nuts so all right guys there you go just a candid discussion about our new 2023 super duty uh the biggest thing to take away from this is uh ride comfort is incredible this is so much better than my sdx or my old lariat i don't know what they've changed with 2023s but it seems to be much much better especially for a super duty and yeah still kept the 7.3 got the 373 rear we'll see how we like that and i'll keep you updated on what ford does with that stupid 10 inch screen. Um, it's not the screen, I guess it's the computer that runs the screen. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. You guys, uh, over 67,000 subscribers now, over 10 million views. And I just wanna give you guys a sincere, heartfelt thank you for that. Uh, it really allows us to do things that we normally wouldn't be able to do for the channel. And that's all thanks to you guys. So I hope our video, at least one of our videos has helped you in some fashion. Guys, I hope you are good. Take care, see ya.